right, guys, welcome to the Kia of Gas and Rainbow City, Coach Ali Smith Show, brought to you by our friends at Ali's Carpet. We've got Gas and City Head Coach Ali Smith here with us, coming off a huge win. Uh, Coach, talk to us about some of the preparations you guys went through uh, getting ready for this game, because they look great on both sides of the ball. Well, we, we focused on ourselves. It was more of an instead of an opponent. Uh, last week, we looked more to try to get back to the fundamentals of attack and get lined up. When we went in, we probably most basic game plan you could imagine. So we can play and just let our kids cut loose. Yeah. So we that's what we focus on uh, like when we need to call. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, on the offensive side of all you guys kinda of slowed the game down a little bit. Um, I looked at the time of possession and I think you guys had the ball for thirty minutes and, and some change and uh, I think they had like seventeen and uh, I think me and uh the guy who I was talking to on the sideline we talked about um, I think it was the Eric Sparks we were talking about limiting Spain Park's possessions and limiting their plays. And you guys did a good job of doing that. Was that was that something y'all planned on? Well, we talked about it. it. Some of it was planned, some of it wasn't. You know, we, we had a, a great night of running the football. And so we, we got into a clock management situation right there. And But we wanted to limit their touches. They had been scoring a lot of points. And mm -hmm. so we uh, uh, we didn't go in and just say that we would do it every series. But we had a plan where at certain times we would go fast, sometimes we would slow it down. But then we were able to get into control of the game, so we controlled it in that aspect throughout the night. Man, that was awesome. Uh, speaking of the team, <laughs> they, 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 they were focused and dialed in. From, I'm talking from warm-ups to until the time they came out on the field and to, to the last second of the game. Uh, I noticed before he ran out on the field, the, the running tunnel, they had, they had it shaking. What did you say to those guys uh, pre-game to get them so fired up? Well, it wasn't a lot. We didn't have to say a lot. We talked about uh, uh, mainly about just being focused and taking care of you one another on the field and, and having a great opportunity to go out and compete. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and go compete when nobody gave you a chance to win. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, like I said, you guys performed well on both sides of the ball. Let's talk about the defense and, and the job they did because, to me, I've been following Gaston City football since day one, and they look like the old school Gaston City defense. They were, they were physical, they were getting to the ball, and, and, and they were – they were being aggressive. Talk to us about the play defense. Well, one thing that we tell them, we, we want to, we, we tell our guys, we want all twelve men to the football. And that means <laughs> we want people thinking that it's twelve out there playing and flying around and enjoying and having a great opportunity. Just run to go hit somebody and you know, get lined up. If you make a mistake, make it going one hundred miles per hour. Yeah. And that they did that um, uh, last Friday night. For us. Yeah, the defense. Man, I mean, it was it was impressive, man. Um, and. Switching over to the offense, um, CJ and Rotavius and those guys had a great night running the ball. Um, I think total, I think y'all had almost 300 yards uh, rushing. Uh, talk about that offense and uh, and the great job those guys did. Yeah, well, you know, it started up front with that offensive line. Yeah. Uh, they were playing a lot of guys up there, Coach uh, um, Clifton and Coach Poole, you know, those guys are doing a great job with the offensive line. And those guys are opening up a lot of holes for those guys to run. And those, you know, obviously those two running backs are doing a great job of complimenting each other uh, with a, with a one-two punch and uh, um, doing an excellent job. And both of them are really working and they're studying film. And they, they kind of recognizing fronts and, and being able to uh, kind of gas people when they when they recognize what they're doing and trying to get us. Yeah, because I've noticed from week to week, uh, Rotavius, he has, he, he's improved every week. And CJ is just, he's just CJ now. And by the way, if anybody didn't know, CJ was the average show's uh, player of the week. Uh, so, I mean, he had, because he had a great game. Yeah. All right, let's, let's switch gears a little bit. Let's talk about this week's game against Oxford. Huge rivalry game uh, for both schools and a great game for both schools and, and the community. Uh, talk about some of the things you've seen on film from them, because Oxford's obviously loaded with athletes. Talk about some of the things you've seen uh, from the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Uh, first and foremost, they like to play football. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the one thing about it. You can tell the sight, man, they, they, they rally around one another. Uh, defensively, they're, they're probably the fastest team we've played thus far this year. Overall, team speed. Um, you know, Google was a big, fast team, but I don't think they had the speed that this group got. They got a lot of speed, and they get out of they, they remind me of some of our old defenses we've had at Gas City. Um, offensively, they have a great quarterback, uh, a great receiver on the, out there on the edge, and they do a great job up front. Offensive line has always been one of their strong points, uh, and they do a great job of coaching.
coaching those guys up over there. So we know we have our hands full, and we look. But our kids look forward to uh, for the challenge. It's definitely going to be a great game. All right. Uh, speaking of this game, it's an unreached game. Uh, talk to us about how important it is to get a win uh, this week, going forward to into the last stretch of of, of region play. And I, I tell you, man, this will be uh, you know for us. When we telling our kids we're working on us. For, you know, we we got to get back and working on us and having a good time going out, playing and competing. You know, just figuring some things out and. and what we can hang our hat, hats on and move them forward uh, before we get back into region play right. on next week. And, and we need some of the young guys to step up and create some depth in some areas. So we're going to give some guys an opportunity that haven't probably got a lot of opportunities this morning to, to kind of see what we what we have. Okay. Uh, before the season, I mean, you talked a couple times over, uh, during the summer about how pretty much everybody in the state wrote this team off, other media outlets wrote this team off. Has been going to be at the bottom of this region, and uh, I heard some guys in Birmingham on the radio saying the same thing. Um, now, kind of starting to turn heads a little bit. People are kind of looking at, okay, you guys see, you know, this this thing is legit. Um, talk to us about how you and the staff are trying to keep the guys, I guess, from getting getting a big head. Well, well, we, uh, I'll say, I hope that we're doing a better job back that than we did. Um, Two and a half weeks ago, uh, and, and they know that you, you get the big heads, you know, they get it in any place real quick. But uh, uh, we're, we're handling that, you know, they things controlling what we can control, and that's being at practice every day, doing what you're supposed to uh, on and off the field, and preparing, watching the film, and being ready for your opponents, and, and everything else. Uh, let the chips fall where they may, and let's go out and compete. You know, on paper, a lot of people will be a lot better than us, but as I said before, we have players, and, and we, 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 we're ready to compete. Um, this is part of the show. I, I just I kind of open up the floor to you, let you talk to the Gaston City fans and community. Well, the thing is, hey, all we want is our people to come out and support our kids and, uh, and, and keep cheering them on during the good and the bad times. And let's hopefully uh, that we'll have more good than we have bad. And uh, you know, as we uh, want to say that for us, that we, we got our little cliche, we say tightens up. And yeah. let's hopefully everybody say to stay tight. Oh, yeah. yeah, we try to use that hashtag whenever we're sharing something with the City. So, um, so Coach, uh, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching. Uh, the Key of Gas in Rainbow City. Coach Ali Smith Show brought to you by Ali's Carpet.